But let's right. start with the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the format of it, the structure of it, what you thought of how the debate was carried out. Well, this out. didn't turn out as pugnacious as the last time when there were essentially there was a shouting game mm -hmm. and all of that. I think the audience not being there perhaps kind of helped, plus, you know, like turning off the microphone. But it was quite a flat debate. I, mean, I think it was way flatter than many expected. I honestly have some issues with the moderation. I think mm -hmm. a huge part of the, uh, the debate, I'm not sure if Trump was responding to any of the questions. I think he was just... It was almost like on a campaign trail, right? Just saying... Stump speech. This, yeah, it was a stump speech. Just over and over again. He was on message mm -hmm. through and through. So there was no audience, but in terms of audience impact and energy level, clearly Trump was there. Now on Biden, obviously the optics, I think, were not optimal. I was just on Twitter looking at practically Democrats were, you know, a lot <laughs> of them hyperventilating. They were worried about whether they should go for a replacement. But the funny thing is that if, actually if you transcribe Biden... It defies all of the stereotypes mm -hmm. about this guy has lost his lucidity. Mm -hmm. his, no, actually, it was pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mean, there were a little bit of, you know, issues here and there, but generally, I think, but he was a bit too wonky, in my opinion. Wonky. Like, wonky. Like, he would respond to I issue by issue. He would provide facts, data, and his closing statement was, like, on taxation. Mm -hmm. So I, f I felt that if it were a question of his lucidity, he was quite effective. But if, if it's a question of projecting strength, and standing up to the kind of a Trumpian attacks and assaults, I don't think that was an optimal performance by him. And I think the fact that Trump was able to corner the, uh, essentially, CNN, because, you know, before the debate, the, uh, the, the accusation was that this is going to be a biased liberal mm, media. Mm. And I think they were a little bit too diffident. I was expecting more from the moderators to, like, Please answer the question. You didn't press a question. Not to mention fact check checking. Yeah. I mean, there were a lot of, you know, well, hyperbolic stuff yeah. thrown out there by Trump. And yeah. No fact checking whatsoever. So I felt that didn't also help with the quality of the debate. I think it could have been much more interesting if the moderators just did their job and just accepted that by virtue of them not being at, I don't know, right wing media, they were just going to be attacked anyway. I, I think, yeah, they, they, they preempted it too much. There was a little bit of overcorrection. Mm. I think that really didn't help the case. Hyperbolic, and he stretched the truth a few times. But to be fair to them, though, before the debate, they did say, look, there's not going to be a live fact checking here, right? We will moderate this, and there were a lot of content to get through, but they did uh, lay that up front that there's not going to be fact checking. But at least they should checking. have uh, followed through, like, can you please answer the question? That's true. You know, Th that that point go is true. And going back to attacking yeah. Biden and issues that were very non sequitur, you know. Uh, Professor Renek? Uh, three major observations. Number one, it's really more of optics mm -hmm. rather than substance. Mm. Again, that's a point regarding debate. You do not want really to present the truth, rather you want to affect the perception of people of how you mm -hmm. would view it. So they really focus more. I think the format, even the, uh, the organizers, even the, uh, two, uh, the candidates, or of course the president and the candidate, simply focus in terms of the optics, of the form. Right on side. I was expecting more of policy discussion, but I think we're expecting too much. Mm. That's not the case here when you talk. Number two, of course, it's in terms of, uh, again, uh, what will be given in parts? Of course, we were looking at foreign policy pronouncement, mm -hmm. foreign policy issues. Well, uh, we forgot the old saying, politics start, uh, starts at the local level. So most of the discussions were primarily on domestic issues that we could not simply relate with. Mm -hmm. Of course, we could relate to three major issues that had to do with foreign policy that were mentioned. Number one, at least you have a talk about Ukraine. Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Position regarding Ukraine. Number two, regarding Gaza and the Palestinians. Uh, then the third part has something to do with who represents weakness or strength. Of course, at the end part, uh, we were sim simply so much focused on the discussion earlier. Uh, you have Donald Trump basically telling, I represent power, whereas, of course, President Joe Biden represents weakness. And that was answered by pre uh, President uh, Joe Biden. Uh, we're not powerful because of individuals. Mm. We're powerful because we're a nation. And, of course, the fact that we have alliances. The third element, of course, is a matter of styles. Mm. Of course, as mm. mentioned by Richard, Donald Trump never answered mm. yeah. any of the questions directly. He was a politician. He mm. skipped all the answers and started attacking, of course, mm. uh, President, Joe, Joe, President Joe Biden. But President Joe Biden simply showed, of course, consistency. Although, of course, you have to accept the fact he's not anymore a spring chicken. Yeah. Neither of them are. Yeah, so, Neither but, of them yeah, are. But of course, you see the uh, uh, what they call this, the cohesion mm. and consistency in his flow of th thoughts. Although, of course, he's having problems in terms of you know, his facility. He's already 
uh, not he's already uh, he's the oldest American president. Mm. So you see the impact of age, but nevertheless, yeah. you see consistency in the flow of thoughts. Mm. You see uh, the fact that he could answer questions directly, and the fact that there's substance. He knows what he's talking about. And of course, again, this will matter a lot in terms of presidential style. Whether the president really has at least a degree of control over what's happening within government. He showed it to us. But Prof, is that what the viewing voter is looking for? I mean, like it or not, is that what they are looking uh, for? Unfortunately, not. that's not the case. It's for us analysts and for those who seriously study foreign policy dynamics. Mm. And of course, at the end of the day, uh, if I'll be, let's say, uh, I'll be a government official. I'm working in the National Security mm -hmm. Council. I'm working in the Department of Defense. I'm a diplomat. I'm, a, let's say, an American diplomat assigned in another agency. I would basically take that into account. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I, I think there was I a lot of to... lost opportunities also right. there. I mean, uh, there were moments, there were moments of brilliance by Biden when he was, you know, trying to, uh, yeah, Fired you up. are a convicted mm -hmm. felon. Mm -hmm. You are questioning mm -hmm. the foundations of democracy. Again, if you, you see the transcription, I think it comes off pretty well. Mm. But you should have the done it with more energy and passion. Because I think the, all politics is also emotional, mm. personal, and right? expecting so much from somebody who's well, about 80 years well, old. Well, the reason is because I, I remember the State of the Union address, yeah. where he would even have banter back and forth with you know, Marjorie Taylor Greene and some of those. He was very energized in that. And sometimes a part of me wonders, maybe Trump had, had an advantage because he worked in media, whereby he had to just speak in front of a camera with no people for 40 minutes before you know, he while knows Biden the rules of communication. A, yeah, while Biden mm. is a politician who feeds off on, 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 on the audience. So my sense is even if, uh, even if some would joke this is a battle of the aged, the fact of the matter is that Biden, I think, does better with the audience there. Trump would do just the same. I mean, I think this guy will just be the same regardless. He's just so good mm. in sticking to the core message and having that energetic level. Yeah. And two elements there, of course, is age. Yeah, Donald Trump is younger than a President Joe Slightly, Biden. Slightly, just by four years. Plus, of course, the fact that oh, President, three years, yeah, three years, three years, three years. Of course, President Joe Biden is the president right now. The job has taken a toll. Yeah. On exactly, him. right. You know, you're right. Yeah, Donald Trump is just sitting there, so, uh, attending trials <laughs> and enjoying his <laughs> attending still trials. Going. Is also <laughs> tiresome. Yeah. it's also but, uh, tiresome. At least it's not so, directly. So are, are we saying that essentially it's about maybe Biden is not a very inspiring? Uh, campaigner, but he could be a very responsible, lucid decision maker. Yeah, but of course, the fact that he's the president of the United States, yeah. he had to take the burden. Yeah. And the burden of the task, the impact on him. All the details, if you talk about, let's say, you have issue happening at the Yung School, and you know, he, all the uh, numbers. Came out so again, right. the, simply the job four years of the presidency is taking its toll on him. Mm. So if I were to recap both of you, you both think that Biden was better on the substance, but Trump especially. was better at the fight. Is yes, that correct? In terms, yeah, but of course, uh, in terms again of optics, mm. instead mm. of answering the questions directly, he would take every, right. over, uh, every opportunity to attack right, mm. uh, right, President right. Joe Biden and praise his accomplishments, mm. alleged mm. accomplishment. Okay. Which We're reflects gonna... on his leadership, right? Yeah, yeah. A, a responsible leader mm. placed by the rules. Yeah. This guy defied every rule. And yeah. this was an opportunity for him to showcase his mastery of different issues, mm. his respect for the rules uh -huh. of the game. I'm not sure that reflects very well. on. And, and he gave a very tentative answer, right, in terms of will you accept the will election? Accept? He, he was very tentative. tentative. He never and Biden him. should have really capitalized yeah. on that. That's Look a, at it. This guy right. is not no, a democratic yes. right. person. Yeah. It's not no, Joe no. Biden who should have done it. The, uh, and the, the moderators. The moderator. We should call. That's a very great point.